everybody, it's Jonathan Senor. Smoke at Curdo's and the Ring of Fire our outdoor cooking specialty store. Um, and um, I wanted to take the time to discuss a feature that is on, it's particularly on the DCS that's right behind me right now, but most of the premium gas grills have this feature. It's the rotisserie. And I understand that there are a lot of people out there who could give a rat's ass about this feature on these grills. And I, I can't tell you, I think I did an alfresco video where I let off by saying, how many people tell me when we're looking at these grills and the first question they say, they ask is one of the first questions they ask is, is there an option to get it without the rotisserie? And as I said in that video, and I will say it again, for those who are forsaking the rotisserie spit rod, the rotisserie functionality on these grills, I am telling you, you don't know what you're missing. I would tell you in all, in all honesty, on a gas grill, using the rotisserie has turned out the best food that I have ever made on a gas grill. I'm not talking about smokers, Kamados, all that. That's all next level shit. I'm just saying to you, on a gas grill, the rotisserie, in combination with a solid fuel box burning, burning coal or wood underneath it, there is nothing like it. So, that applies to DCS now because they have an ass-kicking rotisserie and they now have an ability to cook with solid fuel. That, my friends, is going to be a whole other series of videos because I just got my solid fuel box from DCS to play around with. More on that later. But the rotisserie, I'm never going to use it. I don't have the time to truss up the bird, to stick it on there, this, that. It's ridiculous. You will never taste better chicken. Okay, what about you Costco fans out there? People go to Costco. Have you had the rotisserie chicken at Costco? It's fantastic. Mine's better, but I'm just telling you right now. The fact that the bird, or if you're making a pork loin or whatever it is, it's, it's, you know, some, some of these grill companies will tell you, you don't need to use a rotisserie. My grill has convection airflow in it. That's bullshit because let me explain something to you. What a piece of meat, a protein that is sitting there with air, convected air flowing around it, that's great. That's cooking it evenly, but it's not self-basting. And that's what spinning the protein does. It actually self-bastes itself in its juices. If it's just sitting there or it's sitting on a drip pan, where are the juices going? They're running off to the bottom. So I'm telling you folks that I'm, I'm trying to do you a favor here. The rotisserie is an absolute must have. If you look at the rotisserie, the, the spit rod and the forks on the DCS, they are by far the most robust built ones that I have seen in my travels through all these gas grills over here that we sell, okay? You have to see if you, and I'm, I'm, you're probably looking at the pictures right now, if you look at the thickness of the forks, if you look at the thickness of the spit rod, it actually shames many of the other competitors out there. And here's a little detail that I guarantee you that nobody who's selling high-end grills, or very few of them, are going to bring up to you. Take a look at the spit rod and the way that the spit rod melds with the fork. They're both hexagonal shaped. So what that means is they're going to fit hand in glove. When you have a hexagonal shaped spit rod that's actually being hugged by a round hole of the fork as some of the other competitors do it creates this the wibble wobbles and when the wiggle wobbles happen that means chickens fall off the spits no good okay trust me i nearly blew up my alfresco grill because of that the rotisserie will hold up to 50 pounds of meat that's two thanksgiving turkeys god bless okay and um the motor is actually relatively quiet it is an outboard motor. I'm not the biggest fan of outboard motors. I like the way the Alfresco and the Heston have the integrated motor in the grill, but 
and this has come up uh, several times, some people felt well, that could be a problem for servicing, they have to rip the whole grill out to get to the rotisserie. True, but I have, I've only had one problem on an alfresco rotisserie in my years of selling it. Um, also, with the DCS, did you just see that get lit up further? The rotisserie motor's got the light on it as well. So, fun, fun, fun. Now, I also wanted to show how, if you just look at this contrast between the forks, and these are very important because if they don't hold the meat in a very secure fashion, and you walk away from that grill, meat could fall off if the truss gets loose, bird, pork, whatever falls off onto the grill, major fire coming, all right? Because again, I've experienced it. You can't bend the forks on the DCS. I'm trying to do it right now. Now take a look at one of its competitors. Look at how flimsy the forks are. This is an embarrassment, all right? Market difference, folks. Look at the forks on the DCS. You can't bend them. Look at the forks on one of their competitors. Very pliable. To me, that is a very strong statement about the design integrity and the build of the grill, and particularly this point. Folks, DCS, we ship it nationwide, free shipping, right? Series seven, series nine, we have it all. We have it all on display. Please call me, visit the Ring of Fire. Um, calling me actually is challenging. You can call the showroom. It's tough to get me on the phone. Um, I'm usually with people or I'm down here. There's just a lot going on. So um, I always say, if you really want to chat, send me an email, Jonathan at .com. Um, <clears throat> and uh, Or you can talk to one of our other DCS experts uh, uh, on the telephone. But certainly if you're in the tri-state area, come in. The water is always warm. Folks, that's going to be a wrap. Jonathan at curtos.com always the best way to get a hold of me um, i look forward to answering any questions you have on dcs outdoor remember free shipping nationwide okay series seven series nine we're all good and um, we hope to assist you whether it's just with a simple question or two or maybe work with you on a grill purchase or an outdoor kitchen okay it's all good thank you very much